we had me doing uh, some shoulder tests to see what was going on. I'll show you how the, it's still doing. So the speed's pretty good. Got the kind of yucky catch right in through here. All right, so that was one of the tests we did. Another test we did was bringing my head down. That's still pretty significantly better. Okay, don't like that as much. And then I'm about ready to move here in a second. And then we had the one where I'm on the floor. So can you see me? Mm -hmm. Alright, and when I went like this, so actually much more stable than it was. Now what I'd like to do is to go through and show you where on these machines have I become problematic. And we then can determine, maybe we'll take the worst one and treat it out first, but the worst one may be my shoulder, so maybe we'll take another leg one and see what it does to the shoulder press, which is really probably one of the most dramatic and cool things to see. Let's just see what the chest press looks like. So, feels pretty strong on that. These are Kaiser equipment, so they're air resistant. So I can pump them up pretty quickly. Right now it says I'm at 150. There's no way I'm doing 150 with one arm, but not, not that big a difference. I mean, it's smooth here, but still I can do it pretty well. So now let's go over to the leg extension machine and see what this shows balance-wise. It's about 80 pounds. Uh, very slow on that side in comparison to this one. This may be a good one we'll come back to and see if we can strengthen out our shoulder. Let's see what our shoulder press looks like. Oh yeah, that's huge. This one I can do. Be a really probably good one to come back and do. It would make sense to quote people, oh it's a shoulder problem, might as well fix it with a shoulder. But as you know, I'm trying to get you away from thinking. Alright, so now we're going to do leg, extend, or leg curl. This is at 80 pounds on the right. And goes pretty well there. I'm actually going to Jack it up a little bit. I can do it on the right. This is pretty high, and I'm not having too great of a difference. So probably won't count this machine is too big of a difference. So chest machine wasn't too bad. Hamstrings wasn't too bad. Extensions had a significant difference, or had a good size difference. In the shoulder press, I always say had a significant difference. Let's see if we can find other ones. So here's the lat pull down. Good sample of what it's like. Again, that says it's 109 pounds. Smoother. Still not bad. Feels pretty, pretty equal. I'm smoother over here, but again, in comparison to the other machines, not a Exactly a huge one I'd necessarily worry about. All right, let's check out the leg press. And I'm going to move this as far forward. It's just kind of the way I like it to be. And uh, don't have much weight on there right now. So. Guys, I'm really crammed in here. It's something that I like to do to test, but it wouldn't be something that you would necessarily have the person this far forward. Oh, see, I can't even get my <coughs> leg up there where I can the other one. Ah, son of a gun. Big difference. Big difference. But this one, look, easy, kick up, not a problem. Big, big difference here. Just like I showed this morning in the last video, the sumo stance that I did. Big difference down here. Big difference going on up here. Maybe this will make us improve even more. And this is the last one I'm going to do. Uh, ooh. Easy. Huh. Interesting. So here we go. That versus this. So we can start here, here, shoulder press, or leg extension. So I thought the leg press was the absolute worst one. I mean, I couldn't get in, get out. 
I could go to the shoulder press and start there. There's no right or wrong way to do this or to answer. You could start at any one you wanted to. The point is, let's find the patterns and see what the body, whole body looks like. And then choose one and start there. All right? Fair enough? Okay, so now we're going to do treatment. I will start here. I could move the seat back. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do with what you saw me at. I'm going to treat and test from here. And then I'm going to treat my shoulder. I'm going to go back and check out the other machines. At the same weight the other ones are. So I'll do my reps here. All right. So I'm going to do two sets of 10 or 12. And we're going to, you, do, you don't need to watch me do all sets of 12. So we'll just turn this off. When I'm ready to come back on, we'll show you what it looks like to test. Okay, I just did my two sets. Actually, I did three sets. I'm going to go retest this. See if it's smoother coming on. Now I can already tell from my hip complex that this just feels so much more free. Very much like on my, my shoulder press, this complex was really tightened down. Down on my legs, this one's really tightened down. I said in earlier videos that this, the hip complex and the shoulder complex are very similar in the sense that they allow this full range of motion. It's only two joints in the body that kind of do that with the ball and socket. And again, I know, I'm not trying to argue that there's a socket here, so. Let's see what it looks like going up this way. All right, look how much easier it was and able to do. Now, what's the important part is how it does affect the rest of my body. Let's come on over here to the shoulder press. Okay, so I have the exact same weight on. I haven't changed it. Let's see if I can now do it with the 60 pounds. Nice. Wow, a lot better. Still tight and stuff in there. Now, let's come over here and see what that leg press did to my leg extension. Again, I still got that 80 pounds on, and my weak leg was my left. So, <laughs> smooth as can be. This is what, if you don't start experimenting with your entire body when you're hurt, you're not going to catch on how much of your body gets affected by an injury. And if you're not treating the whole thing, that's one of the reasons why it doesn't stay gone. You want to balance out as much as you can. As I said in the prior videos, if something in your lower body is massively restricted, it's going to be pulling all the way up to the shoulder, which is a huge lever arm. And by physics, the longer the lever arm, the more force is being generated. Fair? Cool? Neat? And so a lot of you now will probably want me to go over here and see, hey, does the shoulder work? I really, it really felt good to do those leg presses. I should go and complete those out, but just for the sake of it, I'll do a couple more of these and just see how well this does and makes my shoulder feel. I'll, I will make a determination. Did it feel better to do the leg press, or is it going to feel better to do this? And again, there's no better, worse kind of thing. It's about the result. And maybe next time I come back in and I'm still a little sore, and maybe doing this first was the best thing for me. I can't really tell you. Right? Okay, so I'm going to do the good side, all right, or the easier side, and maybe I will. All right, and I'll probably lower the weight to do as many reps without, I don't want to overdo it. All right, so again, we're going to turn off the video and we'll come back in two or three sets. I did two sets. I actually had to drop the weight back down from 60 down to 45. I jacked it back up to 60. Actually, it was about 61. And now I'm going to retest. Somewhat better, somewhat better, still bugs me right there. But let's go back and look at the things we were looking at in the beginning of my arm raise and stabilizing on that. Let's take a look at our motion. Notice I'm even getting now play into my spine, into my ribs. I'm actually able to go up now before I was stopping right about there. That's really good. Let's look at my motion forward, forward to the side. Still got some at the end, but so it's been hitting like 65% of it. It's hitting more like 80%. That still bugs me. All right. Now let's take a look at what I feel like when I'm on the ground and stabilizing up. Okay, stabilizing. One morning at um. Feels pretty strong. This one definitely feels better. Like I can protract my my shoulder blade. This one, there's no protraction going on. So that could be another one where I'm pushing and doing reps on the floor. This one may help out a lot. Again, talk about stability of the shoulder. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.